Yes, Dean, you want to do five minutes today? Oh, God, this is terrible. <laughs> I know it is. Well, the only terrible idea is to actually have to get you at five minutes. <laughs> do you want to put you on the list? Do you want to go next? Let's see what put you on the list? Okay. Put them on the list. Who's there? I actually need the list. I need the list. Give me the list. Oh, memorize. Give me the list. I can't memorize five things. <laughs> you better. You're a conjure. Stratosphere, Tully. Five minutes for Stratosphere. Let's hear it for Stratosphere. Tully. Tully. <laughs> you can do it! It's gonna end in tears. Anyway, by trade, I am an engineer. I am sorry. <laughs> and as an engineer, I occasionally get to crawl through old buildings and tell people their crap is rude. <laughs> and they don't like to hear that. Mm -mm. So a couple weeks ago, I was on business. Now, when you go on a business trip, I get to go to all sorts of exotic locations, including Burns, Oregon. <laughs> Yay! Does anybody here know where Burns, Oregon is? Oregon. Oregon. <laughs> two, two points for the hyena over here. What about me? I didn't. There's a joke over there? What? Nowhere. <laughs> Not through Burns, Oregon. So, anyway. The trip was rather uneventful. Snow on the roads, 100 foot sheer cliffs, no guardrails, 60 miles an hour speed limit. Yep. Oh yeah, company car. <laughs> <laughs> it's a smart car. <laughs> Pretty close, RAV4. <laughs> With half ball tires. <laughs> anyway, so whenever I go on a business trip, I always get put in the cheapest place that isn't a Motel 6 because my company has at least some class. <laughs> So they give me my reservation before I leave. It's like, okay, Best Western Roaring Ryan Inn, thank you. So I get to Burns, and I find the Best Western Roaring Ryan Inn. They've got no record of my reservation. Oh, you're at the Roaring Ryan Inn over there that's not the Best Western. I kid you not, look it up. So suddenly I'm feeling like a second class citizen in 1980s Soviet Russia. It's like, oh, you're over there. Okay, I would have rather stayed in the Best Western, because then I wouldn't have, but then I wouldn't have this story to tell you about possibly one of the worst nights in a hotel I've ever had. You know, it's very basic. Basic bed, basic carpet, basic mold and insects. But at least now I'm away from my coworkers, the same people who like to put ketchup packets in my office for me to find. I've got some really good coworkers. So I'm in bed. I'm gonna go to my big meeting in the morning, yay. And I feel this poking sensation in the back of my head and at my feet. And then I get up out of the bed and I'm like, what is going on here? And I touch the lamp and suddenly my hand goes numb. I've got so much static electricity, I'm like a fursuit in a balloon factory. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, this is not gonna be fun. And then I start figuring out, okay, what in the bed is causing all this static electricity? And then I realize if I turn the light off and really fluff the pillows, Get like Chinese lantern going here. <laughs> okay, so I'm an engineer and I start using my head to figure out how I can combat this. Aha! Water! Water absorbs static electricity. So I get to the bathroom and uh, get a wet rag and start doing this shit. No. <laughs> Guard <the> electrons! <laughs> wet spots all over my bed. <laughs> Phrasing. Would you like to share with us, Steve? You know, you, you have wet spots all over your bed. <laughs> so I'm doing that, and it helped the problem. And then I started speaking Latin. <laughs> I don't speak Latin. The water in Oregon's good, but it's not that good. Thank you. <laughs>